Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel DevOps Boss with Kirtan. Today we'll discuss a powerful branching strategy for Salesforce project. Uh, mostly there are two types of uh, branching strategy. One is uh, single deployment process and one more is parallel deployment process. So how it is, let's uh, try to understand it. So here it is the production and uh, here you have uh, your version control and here you have developers let's see this is the sandbox This is version control. Take the uh, let's it say GitHub. These are the developers. So the situation is like uh, first we'll discuss about single deployment process. Like there is a uh, co uh, I mean uh, sprint. So where other all developers will the participate in the sprint, and they will move the code from one branch to one sandbox and once the changes are approved then again it will move from other branches to other sandbox then finally it will move into the production so this is single way of deployment and one more deployment process is there like major release and there is one minor release so in this case major release will be like uh, once or twice in a month but uh, uh, minor release will be uh, frequently deployed into the production like uh, in a, a week there might be one or two deployment like that in this case the branching strategy will be a little different but today we'll discuss about the uh, simple branching strategy most of the companies are following this process okay So what is the uh, let's see what is the deployment flow here M mostly uh, in the current uh, process people are people are having projects are having QA sandbox UAT sandbox and then they have the production sandbox and each developer or a group of developer have their own sandbox that is called develop sandbox so the branching strategy so what type of branching we will recommend like first there is a feature branch and one more branches will be there so let's come from the right side so first we'll have the main branch and apart from that main branch we'll have one more branch that is called a release branch uh, why we have a release branch that i will discuss in the upcoming slides but just now you just remember just try to understand we have a dedicated branch called release branch and we have a uat branch and we have a qa branch and we have a develop branch when uh, the developer want to uh, start their sprint changes then they will cut a branch from develop branch and they will create a feature branch and then they will push the code or check in the code into their feature branch then they will create a pr pull request to the develop branch and then the code will move from develop branch to qa branch then qa branch to uat branch then uat branch to a release branch and the release branch fine the release branch code which is available it will go to the production and i will tell you in the upcoming slides from which branch the code will go to which sandbox so uh, i have uh, one more dedicated slide for the hotfix branch so i will discuss everything about the hotfix in the later stage okay so now we can see it in this slide i have discussed which branch is tagged to or connected to which sandbox if you will see it here the developer branch is tagged into or connected into the develop sandbox 
and your QA branch is mapped to the QA sandbox and UAT branch is mapped to the UAT sandbox and here release branch is mapped into the production so if you'll see earlier we saw the code is moving from developer to QA, QA to UAT, UAT, UAT to release and now whatever the code is available that code will move from release branch to the production and once the production deployment is completed and it is success then the code will move into the main branch and then we will create a tag i hope it is clear yes as i said earlier we have a dedicated uh, slide for hotfix process so hotfix process i'll explain it here so we will create a hotfix branch from the main branch and then we'll provide this hotfix branch to the developer they will create a branch from that that is called as hotfix uh, feature branch hotfix if they can a uh, nomenclature i'll uh, in the upcoming videos i will just explain on the nomenclature of the each branch and how it works uh, so here just try to understand the developer will create a feature branch of hotfix then they will commit the code here then they will push into the hotfix then the code which is available in the hotfix it will go to into the hotfix sandbox so hotfix sandbox once it is approved then the code will move from hotfix to release then the deployment will happen from release to prod once the code is uh, deployment is success and then we will push the code into the main main branch then again we will create a tag this is all about the uh, deployment process uh, then we will come to the uh, code sync up process once the code is for example if you will see it here developers uh, development is going on in this one developer uh, develop branch and then at that time at that time there is a hotfix happened and the code moved to into the production and then it each merged into the main branch so the changed code will not be available in the in the develop uh, develop branch so it might create a issue like the latest code is not available and the chances is there to override the code to avoid all those things we have a process that is called code sync up process this is the upcoming slide yes so what happens once the code is merged into the main branch then we will sync up the code into the each and every branches so how it's like this you can see the dotted line the code is merged in the main branch then we are just thinking uh, creating a downstream pull request it will uh, then the pr it will be merged in the uat branch and then it will go to the qa branch then it will go to the develop branch so the latest uh, code or modified code in the hotfix will be available in each and every branch as the code is uh, new code is available then we also do the sync up with the sandbox whatever the changed code is available uh, we can go for the delta deployment i will discuss what is delta de deployment what is full deployment and all those things in the upcoming uh, videos so right now let's just talk about the de delta deployment delta deployment nothing but the incremental changes deployment will be deployed in the respective sandbox i hope it is clear uh, for any query if you have then please uh, drop an email to mbr.kirtanadret.gmail.com i will address as soon as possible thank you everyone for watching this video yeah.